just left my very favorite store. Getting ready for Christmas. your destination. Your route guidance is finished. Oh, it's time to get all the Christmas decorations out of the shed. Holy mackerel. Oh, so I hate it when it gets to be winter. Of course, well, really not winter. It's over 50 degrees outside. Holy mackerel, it's warm. Whew. All right, that's better. Got to put the fall decorations back in the shed and get out Christmas. My way. Stay there. All right. Christmas. Oh my god, that was heavy. Christmas. Yeah. Oh. And oh, one here too. Christmas. Boy, these better all be nice and tight so I don't have mice in them. I think they are. And Christmas. Now, I've got to get them all in the house. Okay. Here we go. I can't believe there's no sound here. Because what I'm showing you is something I built 30 years ago out of the lath on top of the horsehair plaster in the house. And I love this thing. No matter how neatly you try to do things, it's still, in my mind, overwhelming. Many, many years ago, I went to Connecticut with my sister-in-law and mother-in-law to a place for after Christmas sales. And they had the most gorgeous nativity set I've ever seen. So I, Ended up buying it for $99, and it's, it's, it makes, I love it, love it, love it, look. Look at that. The huge. But, I needed something to put them in. So I sewed a little felt bag for each one, put the name on it, what it is, so that I don't break them when I put them away. Who said, I'm not Martha Stewart, come on. Look at that. Every one of them comes out. Who's this? One of the wise men, which is an oxymoron. Sorry, guys. It says another wise man. Two wise men. I had Velcro on them because the first year or two I didn't dare keep them out with the cats, but I should never say this because you know, this must be Joseph, isn't it? Or is that another wise man? Who were you? Who were you? Oh, you were in Mary's. <laughs> if that's Joseph, he was in Mary's now. I, sorry about that. It's the other wise man. Okay, wise man, wise man, wise man. My camel's gonna have to get moved every year. I fight with where the wise men are going to be and you're dirty, dirty wise men. All right, here he is. And we have, it says it's a shepherd. Shepherd! And it's a shepherd. And there he goes, shepherd. It says Joseph, so it must be Mary. Yep, I did a good job putting them away last year, didn't I? A sheep, you can go with your shepherd. This is a 
another sheep, a little boy with a sheep. You can be with a big boy with a sheep. What's this? Oh, this is the angel. The angel has a hook. Come on, don't fall off. There you go. Yeah, there he is. Look at that. This one doesn't want to come up. Oh, it's a little lamb. The donkey. He's going to go in front of the wise men. Put all the asses together. And the manger. Now, I know baby Jesus doesn't go in until he's born. But guess what? He goes in there now. Two reasons. <laughs> One, I'll forget. And two, I like it. So, there's that. Everything goes back. All the... Because I will put these totes back in the shed so they don't clutter up my house. Now, where's the cover to the tote? I have lost it. How? I haven't left the kitchen. I truly mean it. I've lost the, the cover to the tote. Oh, there it is. All right, I just bought that at Home Depot. You saw me do it. Put it on the front door, so pretty. Close the front door. Front door won't close. Made it close and went out and looked at it and I had smushed it in the window and guess what it looks like? Looks like a smushed wreath in the window. All right, so that's not gonna work. I think I'm just gonna hang it on the outside railing which for some reason you can't even see. Finally, just about done. I gotta add some greens to a couple of things. But look at that. <sighs> I just adore that thing. And then Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Hey Joanne, last year's Christmas tree. Made it last again. These little reindeer and sleigh were made by my best friend who passed away in 1992. She was my business partner, Doris Bellagian, and she made that and Mr. and Mrs. Claus and gave them to me just before she died. Just a couple snowmen, because you know how I feel about clutter. And then my pillows. They just make everything, I'm telling you. Little snowmen, Melvin the Moose. Melvin the Moose joined the family back when the kids were small. He's a staple every year. And then my cute little tree. I really like this thing. And a, <laughs> and a light out. Well, I'll deal with that in a minute my snowmen, my angels. I want to put a little green and some lights there and then down here. That's it. Small house and it still looks cluttered to me. But I want to show you my tree because this is one of the most meaningful things I have. That angel topper has got to be 75, 80 years old, was at my mother's house. And it was the one thing that I just adored. It's not lit right now, I can't find a way to do it, but I'll figure it out. It, um, the cord would normally go into the other lights, but this tree didn't have any other lights. It came like this. So that is so important. This is Dennis's first Christmas, my oldest son over here. Is Michael's first Christmas, my younger son. Then here, where is she? Right there. Mama Rosa. That's what the woman at work called my mother because they didn't want to just call her by her first name. So that came to me after mom passed away. At the bottom, there's a, on, a huge ornament that somebody from work made me, and God forbid I remember who, 
picture of Dennis when he was in school, a little milk box thing that he made in first grade. So that's like 30, 35 years old. Little reindeer that one of them made. I don't have a lot from Michael, but it's not because I didn't want to. It's just that whoever Michael had for teachers, they didn't do much. So there's my Christmas. It's done. And I want to show you the lights out version. Isn't that pretty? I've got to fix that. It's making me crazy. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I can see the ladder that I haven't put away. You know, life is good. No reason for any of us to be complaining. Isn't that nice? been a long day. Have a good night, everyone. See you next time.